Peripatetics, you're going on a walk with me again. And today it's 34 degrees, so you can stay cozy at home. And in your mind, you can go with me on my power walk somewhere in Tennessee in the contemplative forest. So today, what I'm going to be discussing is a concept in the private journey of self. We have a private journey and there's several, several assumptions that you can make about that journey. That that journey has a purpose, sometimes a purpose is not known, sometimes it is. But either way what happens is that you have to have an understanding that uh, that journey that you're taking has a beginning and has an end. And in that process, you have agency, which is your actions taken in the process of your journey. So what I'm going to be discussing is what happens during adversity. Adversity of something that uh, is very painful to you. Unrequited love, the loss of a job, something that has uh, major consequences in your life and at that time it's very difficult to see clearly because there's nothing that's clear so what we're going to do is look at, at adversity as a disruption of goals you had an objective and it's been disrupted but now what happens usually people make plans Okay, then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and, and then I'm going to trust that. That's only part of it. You make plans, but the way to deal with adversity is first to realize that you have a journey, and in that journey there's going to be an unknown. And right after the adversity, you jump in, and you begin to have faith in the unknown of your journey. Not faith in the outcome, but faith in the unknown of the journey. And that gets you into the terrain of curiosity, of uh, awareness that new things are coming. And the curiosity is going to be your guide. That'll be your compass. Your curiosity will be your compass. And that's how you deal with adversity after you take care of whatever you need to take care of. You clean it up and then you look forward to the unknown in your future journey. And once the unknown comes in, go in with discovery rather than fear. Discovery rather than fear. And then when you jump in, allow yourself to celebrate that you're going into the unknown with curiosity. All of those ingredients are psychoneurologically sound because they're exalted emotions that allow you to counteract the stress response that we usually get or the helplessness response that causes inflammation. So that's what to do. On the journey, you face adversity and then you put blind faith on the unknown. And when the unknown comes, you navigate it with curiosity and you go inward with discovery rather than fear. So enjoy. And now I will go back to my walk. And here I am freezing myself for you and for myself. Enjoy. And uh, we'll talk soon.